Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, a lot of you probably know by now, uh, one of my good friends on YouTube, her name is Miranda, and her channel is called Doing Life with Miranda. So if you are not subscribed to her, you are totally missing out because she is an amazing, special person. So I'm so glad you two brought us together. She's just the sweetest person, and I enjoy her videos. Like, she's just really nice down to earth and she like her channel says it's doing life with miranda so you might get a makeup tutorial you might get an unboxing she might show you a haul she did at a store or some decorating tips so anyways i really recommend her channel she's a great person and so the reason i'm talking about miranda is okay so we decided to do a mother's day gift swap so if you go to her channel, she um, is more, what's the word, um, 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 efficient than me, um, timely, I don't know what we want to say, um, but yeah, she's she's got it together more than me, you know, but anyway, so she's already put her, her um, unboxing up, I think she put it on Mother's Day, which makes sense, but me being the way I am, and hopefully you guys know that by now get to it when I get to it you know what I mean but I'm very excited and I told her like before I post any unboxings which by the way I will be doing a lot of this weekend her package is number one on my list first of all because I'm the most excited about it obviously and second of all because this was for Mother's Day <laughs> and we're a week late sis so here we go so this is from my good friend Miranda like I said, please go subscribe to her. She's an amazing person, and you're just not going to regret it. I love her to death. So, okay. I don't know if I can cover both our addresses, but she wrote Happy Mother's Day. So, thank you, Miranda. And she claims she liked the package I sent her. I hope you guys go watch the video of the stuff that I picked out for her. Um, and I don't know, leave a comment on this video or on her video. I read both of them. But anyway, um, and let me know what you thought of the items I got her. And then also let me know in this video what you thought of the items she got me. So, first thing that's in here, super excited. She got me a beauty blender, like the official kind. Because I use all the cheapies, guys. So, I'm super excited for this. Keep in mind, I haven't seen anything in here, so we're seeing this together. I love that. But anyway, so this is a cute white one. And it's perfect timing because the blender I'm using right now, like, it's busted and crusted and dusted and I'm disgusted. So anyway, it's time that I move on. So I'll be definitely putting this to use um, probably my next makeup look. By the way, um... My stepdaughter did my makeup today. I think she did a great, great job. I am not an eyeliner person, so she did that. And I told her to give me like a soft glam look on the eyes. I think she nailed it. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. And then I threw on um, Jeffrey Who by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love his lipstick, so anyways, that's that. And then my blush I put on, if y'all care about blush, is by Juvia's Place. It's Serafina is what it's called. So anyway, so hope y'all like the look. It's a little bit bright right now, but it's because I literally just got done getting my makeup done. So let me know what you think. But yeah, the eye makeup was all Savasha, and I think she did a great job. So bravo. And it was cool to get my makeup done by somebody. Like, it gets old doing your own makeup. All right, so this is the box. So she put it in this box. I actually like this box a lot. And I don't get this subscription. I'm putting lipstick on it. I'm sorry, Miranda. Okay, so glossy box. Oh, she tied it up so cute. See, I didn't do any of this, so. <laughs> I can already tell she put more thought into it. I mean, mine, I put thought into the products. I'm just not like a D 
decorator type, like the cutesy, like, oh, everything has to have pretty bows. Okay. Oh, how cute. Disobey time. And then she put like a little smiley face for disobey time. Who, me? No, never. Okay, so rose and peptide facial mask. Hydration and dreamy youth is yours. Flowers, peptides, and rose hips for all skin types. So this is exciting. It actually feels pretty thick for a sheet mask, so I'm pretty excited to try this. That means there's a lot of product in here. Okay, the next item, yay, this is a great brand, by the way. She wrote, Happy Mother's Day, and it's by Soap and Glory, and this is the Fab Pore Skin, Refine, Skin Smoothing Pore Refining Mask. So it's really cute. See, I don't even want to use stuff when people like write little messages. It makes me like, oh, oh my God, Miranda, I'm in love with this color right here. Guys. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay, so this is Bitsy Custom Eyeshadow. I will, oh my God, and the color under it. Are you freaking kidding me? Does she just like, we did, oh, we, we sent each other like a list of like, these are the colors I like. This, you know, stuff like that. So I think she nailed me. She sounded dirty, but that's kind of how I am. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna swatch, I'm gonna swatch it, of course. So excited. Whoa. So excited. Okay, here's this one. So that's a really good swatch. So it comes across a lot darker on camera, but it's actually like, like a really dark mauve with like sparkles all throughout. Gorgeous, gorgeous. But guys, look at this color. Love it. Okay, all right, I'm just watching everything. Sorry, hope y'all have time because I'm swatching it all. I love it. Okay, here we go. So this is Bitsy Custom Eyeshadow again. Which I've never heard of this brand, so comment below if you've heard of this brand. Just curious. Never heard of it, but it's swatching really nice, and the colors are really pretty, and it feels good on your fingers, so. I look forward to trying it out. All right, so here's the, what do we want to call this? Teal turquoise? Look at that. Oh, my God. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, ready? Oh. sound like a dirty birdie like I'm doing a whole different type of video right now but is that not gorgeous I love it okay love that maybe I should tell you what these shades are called in case you want to order some huh that would be nice to me okay so this one was called freshly minted that's cute okay this one was called let's see Pedal to the metal. That's a cute name. Okay, here's another one. Super cute. Like, that's a whole eye look right here. Love it. And then it has, like, the metal background. So, if you have a Z palette, like a magnetized palette, you can just throw these in there. And I do. I have one from Ofra Cosmetics. So, I will definitely add these in there with it. So, very pretty. All right, so let me go ahead and what finger? Ooh, this one's actually creamier. Look at that. All right, here we go. Yeah, look at y'all. I know y'all see that. That's gorgeous. I will use that as a freaking inner corner, brow bone, highlight, you name it. All right, so this one is called... Let's see. High Spirited. I like their names. Aren't they cute? No, I feel like they have cute names. Okay, then we have this guy. Oof. She did, Miranda, you did great, girl. I love these colors. 
Okay. So this one's called Punky Purple. Who remembers Punky Brewster? If you remember Punky Brewster and you used to be a Punky Brewster fan like me, leave the number seven in the comments right now. Because Punky Brewster was it. Like, I loved Punky Brewster and there's a gnat and it's bothering me. But anyway, Punky Brewster was my jam. So if she was your jam, number seven in the comments. Okay, so Punky Purple. Let's see what finger. I use my pinky. Ooh, this one's real creamy too. Get that. I mean, I need. I know y'all see how pigmented these are. These are nuts. So I don't know where she found this brand, but I definitely would love to go to their website and order some more of these. Ooh, I'm a horrible swatcher. But anyway. So that's those. They're really pretty. Let me know what y'all think of those. I like them. Bitsy Custom Eyeshadow. Got it. Alright, so one item she did tell me I was going to get. Let me get a makeup wipe for this. So she told me she was going to get me some Ofra highlighter. And, oh my god. I, so I'm going to wipe this off. But, um... I'm in love with Ofra highlighters. Like, ugh, they're amazing. Just the most beautiful. Like, you just look at them and it's like satin sheets. So anyway, here it is. If you've never used that Ofra highlighter, like, put that on your bucket list. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but you have to. Like, just to look at it in person, it's one of those things that's just satisfying. I love it. Okay. So, here we go. Open it up. Ah. Y'all get what I was trying to do with my voice? <laughs> Y'all could tell I can't sing either, right? Look at that. Ugh. And then you rub your finger in it. And luckily, you can't even tell. But, oh my God. It's just so... I don't know. But anyway, so what I did was I said, I'm not putting highlighter on when I do my makeup look, because I know I'm getting a highlighter, and I'm gonna show the kids at home what Ofra is. So, here's a swatch on my arm. Are y'all blinded? Are you blinded? Do you need to see the doctor? I understand. Look at that. I'm so sorry if I caused you vision problems, but please um, file your complaint with Ofra Cosmetics. <laughs> it's all their fault. Okay, so watch. I'm gonna just show y'all. I'm probably gonna overdo this, but I don't even care. Gu guys. In love. Don't pay attention to my busted, crooked, long ass nose either. I know what y'all are doing right now, talking about me at home amongst yourselves. I can't help I was born like that with this little busted nose. But look, now it's a shiny busted nose. Yes, ma'am. It's a little shiny busted nose. So what do y'all think? That's that's a good highlighter. I'm gonna go right here. Oh, did a lip catch frostbite? Maybe just a little, just a little. I always do like a little on the chin. Okay. Let's go up right here a little bit. I mean, and I'm barely like this. I'm not like, I'm barely, you see that knot coming for me? God, you put a ring light on, I don't care if you have one knot in the whole town you live in, it will find you. Okay. Let's just sit right here in this pose. I love Ofra, this, this, ugh. Let me, let me just finish her off a little bit. So yeah, if you're like thinking about getting into highlighter and it's something new for you and you're like, I don't really know where to start. Snatch you up a Ofra. You don't have to buy any other brand. You will be just fine. And this thing, I mean, look at the size of it. 
this thing is going to last you. You can't even tell I touched it. So, I mean, the chances of you hitting pan and running out of it is, like, slim to none. Unless you're just taking a bath in this stuff, then, you know, no judging. That's your business. Anyway, I try to do a little natural look. But if I wanted to go, like, crazy, like, I would be going to the gods right now. So this is Ofra Highlighter. I'm so glad she put this in here. Thank you, Miranda. And I'm super happy I got to kind of like demo it. Now y'all are probably staring at my nose. So I probably shouldn't have, you know. Well, I guess I have no choice but to point it out because it's got a big shine on it now. But anyway, okay, so there's that. What's Ofra? Ooh, I got another Ofra product. Okay, so this is Ofra Goda Refill Using Palettes and Kit, which I can't, I said, I said it. I said, I said it. I said I had a Z palette, so this will go in here. So this is banana powder. So, go ahead and open this up. So it's a real pretty shade. And a lot of people, they um, use banana powder. I do too. Uh, right now, I just have translucent on, but when you use banana powder, a lot of people use it to brighten up under their eyes and stuff. But it's really nice, and I'm excited to try this one by Ofra. I'll go ahead and swatch it just so you can kind of get an idea what banana powder looks like. See? So it blends in with your skin no matter what your skin tone is. It just kind of like brightens up the area. So anyway, in case you've ever seen banana powder and wondered about it, it's not gonna come across on your skin like yellow eyeshadow. It's actually really pretty. Okay. I just like, this is my last little pack of freaking uh, makeup wipes. And she gave me some more, so love you. Thank you, Miranda. Um, this is by the brand Eco Tools, which they make great makeup brushes, by the way, if y'all have never tried them. But it says makeup brush cleansing cloths. Oh, cool, so I can uh, clean my brushes with these, actually. Hmm, I'm gonna have to try this out. Free of parabens phthalates and sulfate so anyway thank you so much i will definitely put this to the test i'm sure i'm gonna love it so i appreciate it okay is this a eyeshadow palette okay so here we go i can already tell the colors are my jam all right so this is icon mini by absolute new york and it's called royal T instead of royalty, royal T. Okay. I always wonder what I would name my makeup if I. Oh, it's so cute. It's a cuter one. Like, I sent. Did I send Miranda one of these? I sent somebody one of these. But anyways, they're, they like have this size and then this is another size. I like this one better because I can take it on the go. So it's an icon mini. Oh, yes, the purples. <sighs> Love it. Oh, and it has a mirror. Nice. But, yeah, I really like these sets because you're not breaking your makeup. You're not breaking the mirror. Like, this is a good, sturdy case. And this type of makeup, this brand, um, I bought it in the past. Like, not this palette, but different ones, and it's actually really good eyeshadow. So, all right. So, Miranda killed it, guys. Y'all better make friends with Miranda for next Mother's Day. I'm telling you. Get on her good list. All right. So, here's one. This is a cute name. I wonder what this is going to be about. So, it's Eye Palette. Eye Palette. Like, iPad. I'm interested. Oh, okay. Cute. Okay. Oh, she gave me a little Z palette from Oprah to put these types of things and okay so if y'all have never seen a z palette this so they open up and this part right here is what you stick the magnetic part to 
So I'll open one up just real quick. Pop it out. See, so this is how they come. And then, see, they stay. And so the whole purpose of these is for you to build your own palette. So you'll go to whatever the makeup company is you like, and you buy their singles that are meant for Z palettes and you can make a neutral palette, a bright palette, a chaotic, whatever palette, whatever you want, but that's the whole purpose. So you don't have to keep little singles laying here and there and everywhere. So these are really cool. I have a bigger one by Ofra, so this is a really neat idea. I'm glad they did a small one. So, Miranda, you cute, big girl. Okay, that's exciting. I want to do a look with these colors she sent me. All these singles, like I just think that's a color, that's a look in itself. It's really cute. That was cute eye palette. Right? Just a little play on. Okay. Anyway, I thought that was cute. Okay. So, ooh, Milani. Okay. So this is the next item. It looks like this is the last one. So. She decorate like guys the little egg confetti stuff well no this is a nicer one the egg one is like cheap plastic but look how pretty that is she did a great job okay so let me see what this is by milani so that was my dogs not me don't try it i was not farting my dogs are making noises okay so milani keep a smooth luxe lip treatment Moisturizes and soothes hydrators. Sugar smooth. Keep it smooth. Leaves lips kissably soft. Provides instant comfort. Apply a small amount with finger and gently massage lips. Hmm. Let me open this up. Do you guys do lip scrubs at home? Like. Ever since I first heard about them and started seeing them in the stores, I'm obsessed with them. I love them. I usually try to find a uh, mint. Like if you can find a mint one, Walmart has them. Like a mint flavor sugar scrub. Like I like them because like they taste like sugar, so they're going to taste sweet. But like if you get some in your mouth, it's not like disgusting, like they're edible. But they really, like, they get all the dead skin off your lips. So I'm wondering if that's what this is. Moisturizes and smooths. Sugar smooth. So, yeah, I'm used to using, like, the Walmart cheapies. So I've never had one from, like, a brand, like, Milani. So it's a real pretty bottle. And let me see. We'll open it up. Oh, my God. It smells like vanilla and sugar. It smells so good. I have like a matte lipstick on right now, but. So it doesn't feel like a sugar scrub. It just feels like really mm, moisturizing. And let me see. Doesn't taste like anything so far. Only me, I'm sitting here eating freaking lip products, of course, but... Anyway, it doesn't taste like anything, so there's not, like, a bad taste. It doesn't taste like, oh, I got crap in my mouth, so I like that. But the way my, my lips feel is really amazing. Like, they're really... Yeah. I don't know if you could tell. Like, they feel really soft and moisturized, so... Anyway, so... Once again... I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I know it's a week later and you've probably already forgotten about it. Your family's probably went back to taking you for granted, girl. I understand. But I just want you to know that um, what you do is a blessing and I appreciate you for it. Your kids, your family, everybody does. And so um, also I had announced my Mother's Day winner. So congratulations to her. I already sent her package out yesterday and messaged her. And right now I have another giveaway going on, which is my 500 subscriber giveaway. So if you have not yet seen that, please go to that video now. I will link it in the description below. And um, 
yeah, sign up because there's good stuff in it. And in that video, I show you everything that's in it. And I've already started ordering. I'm just trying to think positive and speak things into existence. So I have started ordering for my thousand subscriber giveaway and trying to get ideas of what type of makeup brands people would like to see in a giveaway. So tell me in the comments below, what, what type of brands would you like to see in a giveaway? I would love to hear. Um, so far, the suggestions I've received were ColourPop and Tarte. So, got you covered on those. But let me know if there's anything else you can think of. The only one that uh, there's, there's no way in hell I would include in a giveaway just because it's way too outrageous is Natasha Denona. It's a beautiful makeup, but $200 for a palette, like... I can't. I will, I'm not even doing that for me, girls. So, and boys. <laughs> but anyways, I hope everybody's having a lovely evening. I just want to say thank you again to Miranda. And again, if you're still watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed to her, what are y'all waiting for? It's doing life with Miranda. She's an amazing person. I will also link her channel in the description. And thank you so much, Miranda. You're a great friend. And you sent me amazing items. I don't know what you were worried about, girl. Do you see this nose glowing? Killed it. So anyway, love you guys. Have a great night. And don't forget, you can't spell original without Gina. Stay amazing.